Hello, I'm back with part two of decluttering some, all of my yarn, not all of it, but I'm decluttering some yarn. Um, if you watched my last video, I just decluttered two um, big like baskets full of yarn. We're getting into totes. Also, I just noticed that there's also another basket of yarn over there. I have too much yarn. So let's go through this tote here and see what we have. And it's all in this trash bag, so they're all probably new. Um, and let's see what we have. Thick and quick already. Go for foe. What is this? Husky. I already have a skein of Husky. And it looks like there's another one. Husky again. And look at this one. What? What happened to this one? Um, I'm going to keep these because these are expensive. So I'm keeping those. I see another one that's pink. Go for faux in pink poodle. I'm sorry. Loops and threads lush alpaca. So I wonder if this is like the stuff that I use. This is also alpaca. No, this must be the ones that I like. The buttercream. I like that purple though. There's a squirrel. That's a hard one. Let's see what else is in here. More buttercream. I have a lot of this buttercream stuff. I think this is stuff that my parents gave me for Christmas. I think it is. Buttercream, alpaca. Because I told them I loved alpaca yarn and and thick yarn like like faux fur yarn like this so they gave me a lot of it um for Christmas one year like two years ago I think I think I'm gonna keep a lot of this I'm so sorry this one's nice too see my parents know me well my mom I'm sure my mom was the one who did the yarn shopping that doesn't sound like something my dad would really want to do um but i mean look at these colors like are you kidding me and these ones even these ones too like these soft creams like oh man they gave me three of these they're burnout pipsqueak in whitey white sure looks like this and it's see what it looks like like that that's nice too dang this is gonna be hard did they give me three or did they give me two I think they gave me three but it might be just two schemes of this one here's this pink one this looks like like the value yarn that you can get I think I bought this for myself because they did not give me value yarn I'm gonna get rid of this one that's the first one I'm getting rid of uh what is this what is this And there's a little thing I tried to keep going. Okay, we're going to take this back. And we're going to get rid of this because what is this? I don't know. So I'm going to throw that away because nobody wants my crappy unfinished project. Ooh, this looks fancy schmancy. Knit and crochet project plume in green gray. This is fun. This looks very folklore to me, right? Nice thick yarn. Dang. I'm doing very bad at this. Um, big twist soft. That's the stuff that I like. The big twist soft. That's all those schemes in that last video were this. This is teal. This is a very pretty color. Why does this all have to look so nice? Okay, this is something I can put in that yarn scraps. This little bit of... Go for faux. Oh, wait, that doesn't go there. Hold on. Um, yeah, I'll put that here with the other ones that one, the other one that I'm getting rid of. And if you didn't watch my last video, um, these are probably going on Facebook Marketplace as a bundle. There's probably going to be one that's like regular yarn, one that's like thick specialty yarn or something, and then one that is like a scrap yarn one. There's this. I like this one too. Oh my god. Um, I see a lot of chenille yarn in here too that's like unraveled. This one is like a purpley gray. It's 
a mess. But this is like nice chenille yarn. Another one in here that's like a purpley color. This is like thick chenille too. This is the stuff I like. Not the ones from Dollar Tree. I'm really not a fan of those. Here's more for that scrap buster. Um, what is this? I can get rid of this one. That's a weird color. Buttercream alpaca again. This is a gorgeous color. This is a different color than the other ones. It's violet. Very pretty. I like that one. Sparkly purple. Are you kidding? It's a mess. We're just gonna... That is going to have to be cut off, probably. Um, no, maybe not. It looks like it might be able to un, uncome done, uncut, come undone. Very pretty, though. I love the sparkles. Oh my God. I'm doing so bad. This I can get rid of. This is fun, though, but I'll get rid of that one. It looks like I was trying to do something here. Don't know what that is. I don't know. I like this color, though. So I'll probably just chop that off and keep the color. And then scrap buster, I'll put in that. This one's fun. I made, I think I made a scrunchie with this um, from the this one because it's like, like wide. It's very wide. I like this yarn. And again, it has those little like holes in it, like you're supposed to like knit with it. But I just crochet a scrunchie with it. That's fun. I like the colors. I'm going to keep that. Oh my god. It's the last thing in here. I think I was trying to do like a coaster. It didn't. It didn't happen. Um, wow. I'm kind of upset. I'm kind of upset with how bad I did. Squirrel's back. Um, I hope I don't keep this much with the rest of the stuff that I have of yarn. Wow. I'm like really mad at myself. I guess I'll go through the stuff again. I just, I want it all. I love alpaca yarn. I have so much alpaca yarn, but I need it in every color. I need it in every color. I'm actually going to take a little bit of a break because I'm like, really mad at myself right now and I'll be back. Hey guys, I'm feeling a little bit better. Um, I had some SpaghettiOs. Jen Love made a video. So I watched it, obviously. Um, and it was very, very good, of course, because it's Jen Love. So um, I'm feeling a little bit calmer. Um, calmer about things. So let's continue on. Let's see. So here's the, look at this, third basket of yarn that we're going to go through today. Today, I've gone through two big baskets of yarn and a tub of yarn. I found this, another basket of yarn, and two more tubs of yarn, and I think that's it. Let's hope. So let's start on this. Um, I have two knitting things happening at once. Um, these are the knitting needles that I like. They're humongous. I'm gonna unravel this because they are stuck within each other. Oh my god. All right. Both of these I might have to scrap just because like, I don't really remember how to do this stuff. Um, but this is the first one. So, what's happening here? The end. I am not sure. Uh, it looks like this. It's pretty long. I think I was trying to make a blanket or something. I don't know what I was trying to do here. But this is what the little spaces in it look like. I'm trying to use this skein up, it looks like. Looks a little raggedy if I'm honest with myself. Here's the other one. This was definitely supposed to be a scarf. I mean, if I feel like just having a little scarf, it can be done. How do I 
how do I end this? Also, it's a little scratchy around the neck because it is alpaca. I don't know, but here's this. Um, it does, it looks kind of decent. I don't know, you tell me. I'm not really a knitting expert, but this I think I'm just going to throw away. I'm going to keep the needles, but I'm just going to throw away the yarn on it because it looks a little raggedy to me. And it's quite wide. So there's that. So that's the knitting part done. Here is more of that. What was it, Bernat? Was it Bernat? I don't think it was. It was that brand um, Soft. Big, big threat. Anyway, it's this stuff. Uh, there's, there's two colors here that I like. Um, I just realized I don't have a place to put the things I'm keeping. I guess I'll just put it here. Uh, this one is actually a newer one into my collection. I am going to keep this one too. This is Yarn Bee Gilt Eyelash Holographics Diamonds. Original price was $6.49. I got it for $1.62. Look at that. Now, if this doesn't make you think it's simply neological, you're wrong. Uh, very cute. I'm going to make a scrunchie with that. When I saw this one, I was like, there's no way I'm going to do a good job at this. And it's true, I'm not. Um, here's another Bernat blanket. That's what it is. Bernat blanket yarn in this, like, baby blue. Again, that'd be very cute. If you knew someone who was having, like, a little baby boy, and you made, like, little slippers, little mittens. So cute. So those are things I could probably do, mittens and slippers and stuff like that, but like like a blanket or like outfits, I don't think so. This is what I got when I first learned how to crochet. I don't like these hooks, but I am going to keep it. I don't even know stitch ga ga gauge, I don't, I don't know how to do that. And then there are these metal ones, metal crochet hooks. I don't like metal crochet hooks. I use the ones that have like, they have a metal head, but they have like a squishy, comfortable handle. So that way you aren't hurting as much. Like it does hurt because you're constantly like basically doing this. Um, again, with the mental uh, illnesses up here, I can't do repetition very long or else I itch. And, like, I physically can't do it anymore because it'll make me spiral into a panic attack. Anybody else? Or is that just, like, a me thing? That's one reason why I only do small crochet projects is because if I do something big like a blanket, like, I would panic and spiral very quickly. Um, I feel like I should be telling this to a therapist maybe and not to, like, you. But anyway, that's what happens to me. So I want to be comfortable when I'm crocheting because I know eventually sometime in my project I'm gonna start itching anyway I don't want these but um I guess I'm gonna hold on to them especially this big one up here I think I paid extra for that one if I'm right um I think I did it's a nine millimeter I think I did uh get that one separate oh and there's those stitch markers that I used okay anyway I guess I'll hold on to that for now until I can get my life together. My, my hamster is doing something crazy over there. I woke her up and then she's been up ever since because uh, her cage is like right there. So to get all the totes out from over there, I woke her up. Um, here's another pink poodle, thick and quick. I made something. Oh, you know what I was making? I was making a little crop top with long ties in the back. So that way you could like tie it up behind you in a big bow. It looks like this. I mean, you can tell that my gauge isn't like perfect, but like not bad, not bad. Okay, so that's that. This is definitely the sugar and cream white, um, but fun. Who knows, maybe one day I'll finish that. Cause I live in Florida now and that's like the perfect place to wear something that's like a crocheted, handmade little crop top. Uh, this will go in the scrap busters. This is stunning. Um, I don't know where I got this from because I don't know what Wheeler's is. 
I do know what Wheeler's is. Wow, that's in South Carolina? It's a little discount store that really don't have much, but they have go for foe. Uh, this is not thick and quick. This is regular go for foe. So this is the difference in size. I mean, you can tell that's a big difference between thick and quick and regular go for foe. Um, but this is a gorgeous color. Red Panda. Very pretty. I'm going to keep that too. This is crazy. I know I made a a scrunchie with this and it took me forever because of how thin this is um this is chenille as well i might get rid of this um it's very soft and i love the color but i'm really not good at chenille fabrics so i'm just gonna get rid of that especially because that is so thin okay i'm seeing some of these i crochet around these so i get these from dollar tree and then i take one and i crochet around it to make my scrunchies um, I don't use like regular just like elastic. I use little scrunchies because I find them to be easier to handle. Um, more chenille I'm going to get rid of. It's another one from Dollar Tree. This is pretty. This is like darker, like a dusty rose. I'm going to get rid of that one, but it is very pretty. What did I make with this? I made something with this. I don't need it anymore because I made something with it and I feel like I don't need this after doing that. I feel like I made like a basket or something with this. Um, I'm gonna get rid of that one. Keeping this one, Bernat Blanket, in this baby pink. Like if someone's having a boy or a girl, come on, little babies, little baby baby colors, so cute. Uh, here's some more of the schoolyard. Was that right? Schoolyard. Um, was this schoolyard too? They don't look the same. They might be. Um, but I love this yarn for like pride projects. I was going to say pride's coming up. It's absolutely not. What time of year did I think I was in? Anyway. It's never too early to get ready for Pride because you never know. Um, here's another, whoa, I was making something. What was I making? That's cute. That could be a nice little thing for your head, like a headband for the, what was I doing? There's different stitches in this. I don't know what I was trying to do with this, but this looks kind of fun. What was I making? Hmm. I don't know, but it's a pretty, there's just shards of like bunny bedding in it. Um, fun colors. I'm gonna hold on to that too. Um, I don't know what I was making there. I have a, a private YouTube playlist that has a bunch of different like crochet videos in it where I've been trying to like learn how to crochet different items with it. So that's probably in there, I would assume. Same with the white little crop top I was trying to make. I'm sure that video is in there. So I can just continue the project. Hopefully, hopefully I put them in there so I can continue them and not have to scrap them. This is pretty. I made something with this too. I think it was another bag or like, not a bag, but that thing that I made, the pink little thing that you put stuff in. Anyway, I'm... I might put this with the scrap buster stuff because it's it's really thick so there's really not that much of it but like these colors are incredible but I'll get rid of that this is nice very autumnal I might get rid of this one too but it's very nice color oh that's this mandala lion brand mandala watercolors in wild pansy that's what these are so i'll i'll definitely keep those together to whoever ends up getting if someone ends up buying it who knows i showed you a couple of cheaper ones but like a lot of this stuff like blanket blankets expensive um all of the uh whatever they're called alpaca that stuff's not cheap um here's another one of the 
big big twist soft is that right I don't remember um, I love these I'm gonna hold on to that too even though it's not my favorite color I'm still gonna hold on to it because it's that woo, because it's the um, yarn kind I like this is very pretty I think this is the same yarn that I got rid of earlier or in the other video I don't remember the like but it's golden instead of the other one was kind of an orange color um but it's like curly I think this was from Hobby Lobby this is so pretty it's like sheen is so gorgeous but I'm gonna get rid of that but that's very pretty this one I am gonna keep it's like pinky and purpley and splotchy I really like that so that's not bad I got rid of it a couple did I drop any maybe um I got rid of a couple did I drop any no, I don't think I dropped any. Go me. All right. And then this is one of the crochet hooks that I bought later. Uh, this is another nine millimeter. And I love holding these. These feel so nice in your hand. This feels a little sticky. Like the um, rubber is kind of starting to get a little old, which is not my favorite thing. But um I love the ones that have like a handle to them like this and have a little I like them to have a sharper hook at the top because this one would be so but again I mean you're not using this yarn with a nine millimeter hook so um, even though it is like a looser head to it it would be fine so anyway I like these kinds of hooks um, and that's it for this this one so I'm gonna put this stuff back in there I should probably put the stuff in order of like thickness when I move like have one basket that's just like faux fur yarn and like thick yarn one that's just this like soft big twist stuff I probably am going to learn how to cast this off because it looks like it's long enough to be like a little mini scarf and it looks kind of cute I don't know we'll see uh, either way for now it's going back in that little basket this girl I'm done I'm just gonna take the whole thing out um, I think I can't really get up right now which is a shame um, oh it looks like you can like frog it so I can just like unravel the whole thing oh it's getting stuck yeah I might I might be able to unravel this it looks like it's unraveling. Let me see if it'll... See, now it's stuck. Um, hmm. Oh, here we go. Okay, here we go. This is kind of fun. Look at this. It's like therapeutic. I feel like I'm doing like a magic trick. Hmm. I broke it. Okay, so this is going in the trash. Let's put that over there. And then... We're just gonna roll it up. Take our little fingers out of there. So how's your day going? This looks like quite a bit because I'm I'm rolling it pretty tight and it's like the size of a snowball. And we are done. Go us. There's my little snowball. That's cute. All right. Um, I'm gonna put this in with maybe the scrap busters because it is a little bit. I mean, there's a good amount here, but it's not a lot. So I'm just going to put it in with the stuff to go, and then we'll figure it out later. Look how giant these are. It's so fun. Okay, so that's that one done. Whew. Nina wants to be my friend. <gasps> hey, girl. I haven't seen Nina in forever. Amazing you so much. Oh my god. That's so sweet. Nina added me. I haven't seen her in months. I guess we should move on to the next tote. I got it. So I'm seeing a lot of the same of the buttercream. More buttercream. I don't know if I need two skeins of each of these colors. But I'll probably, yeah, it's like all the same stuff from the other one. And that blanket. 
peaches and creme spicy. It says stripe and not spicy. Um, another freaking pink buttercream alpaca. Woolies from Lion Brand. The warmth of wool blended with the eye of acrylic. In denim. I mean, I like how thick these are. These are like those thinly spun ones. Let me see what else I have in here. A little red. Uh... All right, let's see what we have at the end here. Here's another one of these Lush Alpaca ones. This one's probably my least co favorite color out of the purples. Whoa, whoa. This is another purple that it looks, I like this color a lot. Yeah, this is all stuff that my parents, oh my God, more of the pipsqueak. I have six of these because I think that's what this is. That looks like it's the same thing. So yeah, I can definitely get rid of that one. Um, and then this pipsqueak is nice. Whitey white again. I don't know. I might still hold on to those for now because again, if I do a big project, that'll be nice. More woolies. I think I got these from Michael on Michael's on a really good clearance. So I got like every color. I think they were like three, two or three dollars. This one's in berry. This one's in spruce. They're called roving stripes. These are really nice for different projects. What is this? Aww. Oh, nice. This was definitely, definitely a gift. This was all Christmas stuff that my mom got me. Melissa's Yarn Barn has an Etsy shop. I'm sure that's where my mom got it. Homespun and hand-dyed quality yarns and fibers. I remember when she gave this to me, I was like, wow, that's really nice. And she was like, I didn't know it was that small. <laughs> it is teeny, teeny, tiny. But, I mean, it looks very, very nice. It's called Heavenly 100% Merino Wool, 47 yarns, worsted weight. And it's beautiful. Look at that. I'm just like not showing you at all. Look at these colors in here. Are you kidding me? So it is a thinner yarn, but like stunning. That is so pretty. Love that. So definitely holding on to that one because that's a special one. But my mom was like, I really thought that was going to be a lot bigger. So she probably spent a pretty penny on that. But, I mean, hand-dyed, hand-spun yarn is very pricey. Okay, another buttercream alpaca in green. Nina, have I gotten rid of anything yet out of this bag? I don't think so, and it's not starting now either because I see more thick and quick. And this is blue bengal. Very pretty. I have got to look up, wow, there's so many in here. I've got to look up good, I was gonna say recipes, but that's not right, um, tutorials for things to do with Thick and Quick because I'm like drowning in it. But Thick and Quick is, it's really a, a high price. So like, here's another one of that purple. I'm really not that big of a fan of that purple one, but I'm still gonna keep it because it's alpaca and I'm sure it was not that cheap. Um, Sugar and cream in purple haze ombre. I love those colors. Purple is my favorite color. Um, what is this? I think it's supposed to be a flower or something. We're going to throw that away. That doesn't look very good. Here's more softy chunky twist. This doesn't look softy chunky. It looks thinner than that. And it's called shadow green. Is this right? I don't know. This is the same one that I had in the other little thing there, right? I don't know. I like it. What is this? I think this is the, was this the first time I tried it? No, it wasn't. It looks like I tried a magic ring, but it's not. It's just a chain several, which looks like a pursed butthole. I'm gonna get rid of this too, but I like the glitter in this. Um, okay. On to the next little 
thing in here. Why is this in an ice bag? This must have been from a thrift store for $6. Sure is. Okay, so let's see. Ooh, this is very soft. Premier Yarns, mega brushed. And again, look, what she, she's wearing a scarf. Um, this looks really nice and has like a halo around it of that brushed fur stuff. Um, I'm gonna get rid of it though. It, I don't know where it went. Um, okay. Oh, see, these are fun. This is like sachet sparkle. Look how fun. I like ones like this. And see that, look at her scarf. It's a crazy scarf. Blueprint is what it's called. Um, it's very loosely spun. It looks like it's like knitted already. Interesting. That would be a cool scrunchie. This looks very midnight to you, right? Very midnights. Midnights. This is Simply Soft Party Scrunchy. Black Sparkle is what it's called. Looks like this and it has like some glitter in it. Um, I don't think I need that one. Get rid of that one. I feel like this chair is going to fall apart. Heel to Toe, Fifth Avenue Sock Yarn. Oh, I've never made socks. Ocean Waves. This is nice. Look at the colors of that. But it, I don't know. I might get rid of it because it's pretty thin, like sock yarn is. Um, we'll get rid of that. Ooh, I think I already had this color too, of navy blue, but that's very nice. Well, oh, yeah, Mom got me a yarn ball. I don't, I used it like once, but it's cool looking. Let me know if you use a yarn ball. Here's that also softy chunky stuff. So maybe it is softy chunky that has that thing on it. I used a lot of this yarn for a lot of different projects and scrunchies. Big twist soft. This is bright orange. What is this called? Orange. They're not wrong. Um, this gold color I really like. It's called gold. Um, yeah, this is the Big Twist Soft yarn that I have like a billion skeins of, but I really like it. I like that gold color too. Here's the teal, but I just kept a full skein of teal, so I'll put this in that Yarn Busters one. And it is your neighborhood, friendly neighborhood Spider-Man. I'll keep all those too. I really like Big Twist soft like I use it all the time when I whenever I do crochet so I'll hold on to that too I guess I'll hold on to these two because they do make good scrunchies and also like other projects I like the colors in those but look I really like these colors the green one so I did another horrible job but I at least don't feel as bad about myself this time this is filling up man I really didn't get rid of much so I have one more tote to go through, and then I think I'm done with my yarn, as far as I know. So we're just going to close this up because it's basically full. Maybe I'll put one or two more skeins in it. And honestly, I think I'm getting rid of this one now that I look at it. It's kind of barfy looking. I'm going to get rid of that one. On to the final tote of yarn. Final tote of yarn. See this stuff, big twist value. I don't like this stuff, so I'm gonna get rid of that. This looks like a lot of half used yarn. Um, this is also Bernat Chunky or something. Softy Chunky, I like that one. I made a teeny tiny little, I don't know what's going on with the top of that. We're just gonna throw that away, that's not cute. These are scrunchies that I messed up on because I couldn't figure out how to make it like clothes. I figured it out eventually. This is such a mess. But this is that really pretty like yarn with the glitter in it. I think I'm gonna, I don't know if anybody's gonna have the patience for this, but I'll put it in there for someone to deal with. That's not me. 
Um, this is yarn from Dollar Tree I'm going to get rid of. Ooh. I'm not sure what kind of yarn this is. It's very thin, but it's got a sheen to it. It's very soft. And it's like golden. I like this yarn, but I'm going to get rid of it. But I like it. More of that big twist value. Um, this... Oh, this I think I got from Dollar Tree too. London K, uh, L L K, Y C. This is from Lion Brands. I think I got this from Dollar Tree. An orchid. It's a small little skein. I might get rid of this, but um, that's a nice color. Okay, more freaking scrunchies that I messed up on. Like, how many did I try? It's the same kind. Like, I never change how to do it to see if I could figure it out. I just, anyway, um, more of the Lion Brand yarn re-up. I'll get rid of that. And it looks like I have a whole thing of three of them. And this looks like the same color as the other ones. I'll have to check. This is re-up, and there's three in the color raspberry. Let me get rid of this one, too. Oh, my God. The other big twist value. More big twist value I'm gonna get rid of. This is big twist soft. There's such a big difference between the soft and the value. The value I don't think is worth saving a little bit of money on. Um, I think it's worth it to spend a little bit more. There's so much, I don't know if it's bunny fur or bailey fur, like dog fur or bunny fur, but either way, it's a little furry. But um, there's such a big difference in quality between the two. And I feel like it's only like a dollar or so more for this scheme than the other scheme. It is a little bit smaller, but it's so much more worth it to me. Um, apparently, I made a little heart, it looks like. Throw that away. I tried to make some kind of little bowl. This is fun. Star Bella. Um, I'll get rid of this too, but this is fun. Good for scrunchies and stuff. More of this yarn. Oh, where did I put that one? I think I put it back in the other one. I'm telling you I have too much of this yarn. But I like it. I think this is supposed to be a headband. I'm just going to throw that away. Ooh, I love this. This is definitely alpaca yarn. And it's very autumnal. I like the colors of this one. More re-up in orange. I'll get rid of that one. They must have been having a sale on re-up. Ooh, look at this one. That's fun. I'll keep that. This is a giant mess. Like a giant mess. Wow. Okay. I'll just do that to keep it together. Um, very witchy, very nice for, I was going to say Valentine's Day, but that's not right. Uh, very nice for Halloween. And it has those little stitches on the side again. I'll get rid of that one. That's a nice one though. Very festive. This one I think I'm going to keep. This is also that re-up in cotton candy. I like the colors of that one. More of this. I have too much of this. Bernat Softy Chunky in Gray Rag. That's what this this is that I have so much of. But it is very easy to use and it's fun. I like the colors of it because it's muted. I think I am going to keep all of that. Oh my god, there's another one. Why did I start so many schemes? That doesn't make any sense. <laughs> Alright, I'm actually going to get rid of the smaller scheme. Let's open. Keep these two. Sugar and cream in Capri Ombre. Why does this look like vomit? I'm going to get rid of that one. I The colors are not my thing. I'm going to get rid of this one too, even though I like the colors of it. I don't like the quality of this yarn. I'm telling you, there is fur and bedding in a lot of this stuff. Bobby, I had animals. I still have one of them. I still have Bunny, but... Um, 
the puppy's well, he wasn't a puppy anymore. He was fourteen. He's he's sadly gone. Gone but never forgotten. He is still my soulmate. But uh, I'll get rid of this one too. This is nice. Very summery and sunshiny. I'll keep that. Ooh, this feels nice. Um, I'll get rid of this one. I don't really use red yarn a lot, but it does look nice. Oh, here's another one of the like witchy ones. Oh, it's called Grapevine. I don't agree with that. It's Red Heart Boutique it, ribbons. Look at her scarf. Um, I'll keep those together and give them with the other stuff. Ooh, Bernat twist and tw twist and twirl uh, in almond fudge. Look at her scarf. Um, I think this is the same stuff that that red one was, where it was like red and like thick. Um, I'll get rid of that one. I do love specialty yarns; they're very fun. Orange, I hate that color, um, so we'll get rid of that. Ooh, oh, it's so soft. This little pink chenille is so soft. Um, I guess I'll hold on to this one. It is a little thin, but I do like it. Um, this I can get rid of. It's thick and bright fluorescent yellow. Ooh, Lord, it's all falling. I just want to keep it separate from the yarns that I got rid of in the last video so I can see how much I've gotten rid of. This one is another like fun curly one. I'll get rid of that. This I'm keeping though, pink and blue. Like there's one more in this little bag. And it's the pink re-up in bubble gum. That's a good color and that's a good name for it. I'll hold on to that. I like those. This I'll get rid of. I don't need it. I'm running out of space completely. I'll have to put that, the stuff that I'm getting rid of in this video in this one and then um, show how much I'm getting rid of in the end. Again, I think my stitches were a little off. That's supposed to be not crooked. Uh, we'll throw that away. This is really fun. I don't remember what I made with this, but it's very thick, very loosely spun. You know what I think I made? I made headbands with this. These would be nice scrunchies. Maybe I'll keep this little bit and make a, a scrunchie out of it and see how that looks. And then last one is, remember in that last video where I talked about how I made a folklore scrunchie and someone bought it? This is the yarn that I used to make it. So I'll hold on to that. And then the last thing is a heart with a butthole. All right, so that's fun. All right, let me put all of my yarn in this one. So we can, ooh, the yarn that I'm getting rid of in this one and see how much I'm getting rid of. Hold on. Let me show you what I'm getting. I almost died. I'm telling you, this chair is a death trap. Um, this is the stuff that I'm getting rid of in this video. I'm probably keeping just as much as I'm getting rid of, if I'm honest with myself. Both of the ones that I'm getting rid of are about the same amount of fullness. So I have two that's like that full. So I'm probably keeping about the same amount that I'm getting rid of. But you know what that means? That means I got rid of half. And I need to like train my head to think that way and not, I should have gotten rid of more. I'm keeping too much. I'm being stupid. I'm doing what I can do. <laughs> Self. Like nobody's saying this to me. I'm saying it to myself. I'm so mean to myself. But anyway, that's that. I hope you enjoyed these two videos showing all of the yarn and the failed crochet projects and hopefully you liked it and I'll see you in whatever video I end up making just going through the rest of my collection and decluttering stuff. So thank you. See you next time.